Growing up for me, sports were everything. My parents kind of restricted me from playing football early on because, you know, they were scared of the potential injuries. We got him into soccer when he turned four. In his first year in soccer, he would stay behind the pack, wait for the ball to pop out, and then he would be there to kick it. And so we thought, this is fine. He's, he's a normal kid. He's probably not going to be that athletic. And, you know, he's just he's having a good experience with the team. He unfortunately had a couple of concussions, fairly significant ones through soccer. Football was obviously not something that we were keen on him doing because of that concussion history. Uh, I ultimately convinced my mom to let me play if it was just gonna be kicking. And so I remember going to one of my seventh grade football games with my parents just to watch some of my friends play. And the idea came to me to ask her right then, well, mom, what if I just kick? I don't have to play any other position. And she was on board with that. And so she went and talked to the coach on my behalf after the game. That's where football started for him. We were driving back from, from Provo. We were in, in West Texas. We're about five hours from home. It's Sunday morning. And I get a call from Jake. And he's really upset. And he's in a lot of pain. And I said, what's going on? And he said, I can't move my knee. And I said, what, what happened? And he said, I don't know. Yesterday, I was just stretching, and I heard something pop. And, and today, it's so swollen and, I, and, and excruciating pain. I don't know what to do. I guess I was just going too hard and <laughs> pushed something a little too far. And, and my knee popped, and I tore my meniscus, and I sprained my MCL. And in that moment, I was really, really concerned because I after a couple days of camp and talking to coaches, I felt that there was an opportunity to make an impact that season, and all of a sudden, you know, the potential of that was just gone. They had the surgery on Tuesday. I flew up later that week, and I believe it was by Friday, he was running stairs in the stadium. And so he was doing all kinds of crazy exercises to try and get back as fast as he could. And that was a really challenging time, because with that injury, he suddenly pulled out of camp. What he would do is after, uh, when everyone else was eating lunch, he would go out and he would start kicking. And he was trying to get exposure to the team and to coaches to let them know that he was, he was ready. And so less than three weeks later was the Arizona game. Can you feel this, Rob? My goodness. Ready for football inside University of Phoenix Stadium. Glendale, Arizona, it's BYU. And Arizona to finish up a heck of a day of college football. So I got right back into practice Monday week one. I only took a couple reps that week, but worked my way somehow onto the travel squad, um, which was just a complete miracle turnaround for me. It was a huge blessing for me to even be in the position to compete. And then, you know, fortunately, I was on the plane to that first game. Same shoes. I had some old green shoes that I brought to fall camp here at BYU because I didn't have anything else. And I didn't dare ask, you know, being a bright-eyed 18-year-old. I, I had never been in the locker room before, and I didn't even dare, you know, try to ask somebody for new cleats. So I just wore what I had. Nobody said anything to me. They were Nike. So I thought that was fine, and I didn't think I was going to play. 16-15 <laughs> Arizona, Oldroyd from 33. The kick is on its way, and it is... We were driving down the field and it came time to kick a field goal to win. We were looking at him and you could just see the confidence just beaming off of him. It's unique, you know, and that's very different. But that confidence was beaming into the players and for a freshman to do that is remarkable. You know, that, that's why I pushed myself to recover so hard from that injury and to be prepared because I knew that if that chance was given to me, I was going to take it and, and I was going to perform. Strong start to 2019. Um, we had those incredible wins over Tennessee. He was able to kick a field goal to send it to overtime. Eventually, of course, we won that game, a USC win. Then we came to a game and he was very sick. He was dizzy, uh, really couldn't walk in a straight line, and uh, really not in much shape to play, but he needed to play. Ended up not converting a couple of times. And uh, I think that's when 
you know, the mental game really became a factor. When you're doing well, then the posts are outstanding and supportive and he's the best ever and things are, things are great. But if anything at all goes wrong, then suddenly the doubters or detractors come in and it is, it's, it, they just continue to pile on. And so in 2019, I think that happened. I tried to uh, take a step back and realize that, you know, people don't understand what it's like to be me. There are very few collegiate and NFL place kickers out there that understand what it's like to miss a kick or go through a rut like that. You know, so understanding that helped me to realize that, you know, I don't need to listen to those outside voices and they definitely shouldn't be the ones that are influencing where my mind is at. And so, you know, I ultimately just got off of social media during the next season because I felt like it was something that was detrimental to where my head was at as a player the year before. And but it definitely takes time and experience and practice, I think, to, to block it out and just realize that it's nothing more than a game and you gotta have fun doing it and sometimes people take it too seriously. So the piano has been a hobby of mine since I was a kid. I've always enjoyed playing and over the years it's been a way that I can de-stress and take time away from day-to-day uh, -day things and even through football there was a time where I would go play the piano by myself on game day get myself in the right space approaching a, you know, a stressful game setting. Jake's always had a really good perspective ever since I've known him of that football's important, but it's not everything in life, right? And he's got potential where football can take him to places he maybe never thought imaginable, right? As far as career goes. But I think he's always had a really good perspective of football's great, and if it can take me to certain places, awesome, but family, you know, his, his relationships he has with other people, his faith are, are more important. You know, I absolutely believe he's a, an amazing kicker. He's a phenomenal athlete, but I think he's an even better person. Jake is a lot of things uh, to a lot of people out there, but to me, he's my boy. He's fortunate that he's really talented and he's got a good support system around him to help him succeed, but he understands that football has to end at some point for everyone, right? and that when it ends, it won't be the only thing he's known for, but the impact that he has on the people around him and the relationships he carries are much more important than just the time playing football.